What is good, everybody? So today, the big news is Troy Ave released a song off the new Pac album. And basically, uh, well, first and foremost, I want to get into this. If you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, how do I get in the live chat and everything? Make sure you're here between 8 and 9 p.m. at night. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you get in the chat. Make sure you support when you can. Uh, make sure you hit that super chat. Make sure you hit that like button. Okay, so let's get right into the news. Okay, so we got Troy Ave. He came for he came uh, for Casanova two times today. We saw him come for Tax Stone the other day. Basically, calling Tax Stone kind of like kind of like a snitch, man. Like you know, like his uh, his pipes burst, man. You might might need a plumber, as Bosco said, because his pipes are bursting. You know, he wrote a letter to the judge saying, hey, I that basically Troy Ave's the bad guy and that he's, you know, why isn't he free and Troy Ave is free? You know, why did he get bail? Um, he's also, so Troy Ave released this song over a Tupac beat and he's mad at you and he's talking about, you know, bang his death. Then he talks about how Casanova sold out Tax Stone when they approached um, Casanova at uh, Summer Jam Basically, he said, hey, it wasn't me, it was, and then they blank, but he meant to say it was tax, right? Then he talked about Hovain, his old manager, and basically said, like, nobody would uh, pitch in and help Lido get a car. They were going to try to get a Beamer that was uh, one of uh, Troy Ave's artists. Um, and then also Hovain, his, uh, his uh, baby mother cheated on him with someone that worked at Food Town, you know, which is like a grocery store in New York. Uh, you know, it's just, I don't know, but you know, he came straight at Casanova, you know, and Ka now, now Funk, Fu Funk Master Flex was like, I hope somebody steps in between Casanova and Troy Ave. Man, I'm going to be honest. Now I like Funk Flex. I mean, you know, I, I salute to Funk Flex now, Hardy works and everything, but you know, this is some other street shit that's just not going to be able to get fixed because Casanova is involved with basically how... The whole tax stone thing and, you know, Bang getting killed, Casanova was too close to that situation, okay? So there ain't no getting in the middle of that. That's too deep. There ain't, you know, the only thing, now I hope that they could come to a point where a ceasefire where, you know, hey, you do you, I do me, we go our separate ways. That's what I hope for and I hope, I think that's what he means because we don't want to see anyone have bloodshed over music. We already lost Banger. Rest in peace, Banger. And, you know, we just don't, you know, Mr. Goodwill, you out of here, homie. Peace. Okay, so, you know, if you're going to hate, you gone. Uh, anyways, so, yeah, that's what's happening with that situation. It's kind of messy, but, you know, hopefully nobody gets hurt during this situation because, you know, it's not worth it, man. Um, so let's be positive in the situation. Uh, we're going to have Turk on the show on Monday. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. Me and Turk spoke on the phone today. Uh, we came to an understanding and we're going to have the conversation uh, public with you guys since it was such a public situation a week ago. Me and him are going to have that conversation publicly for the people so everyone understands what's going on and everyone's up to date on that and then we can move forward with everything everything's all peace man you know you know me man I'm, I'm i'm a peaceful guy so anyways let's move on to the next story we got kendrick lamar will sell five hundred thousand the first week on damn now i i took a brief listen to damn i think it's dope i think damn is dope but i haven't processed it enough i can't call it a classic yet or anything i mean obviously kendrick lamar the um the lyrics are there okay but i gotta give it another listen tomorrow and then maybe we can all get uh listen i already said i did talk to turk already and we will have a public discussion on monday here on the show uh make sure you hit that super chat when you guys can i appreciate the support youtube revenue is still spooky out here okay so let's get to the next story so we got kendrick lamar five hundred thousand. Salute to Kendrick Lamar. He's selling out here. Uh, a lot of people aren't selling like that, you know, so he's he's doing good sales, man. Uh, then we got uh, OVO Radio is this Sunday, I think. Uh, so we might get some new music from uh, Drake. I really like that song with French Montana and Sway Lee out there right now. That's a really great song. 
Um, we got Little Yachty. Teenage Emotions is dropping next month. I don't know how many of you Little, Little Yachty fans, but I do like that Peekaboo song he's got out with Amigos. I think that's dope. Um, Coachella is this weekend. So I, I don't know if you can live stream Coachella or not. But, uh, you know, I, I think you can. I think there is a way you can. Now, Nupak is delayed. I think it's delayed a week or two from Troy Ave. So that will be coming out. Um, and Casanova, uh, we saw a week ago, clown Troy Ave for comparing himself to Tupac. But I wouldn't even get involved in that situation if I was kind of over. Like, you know, like, you're already involved enough, I would, but I would just leave it alone. Um, uh, let's see. What else happened? That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Lupe says he gives Kendrick's Damn an album score 8 out of 10, and that's coming from another lyricist. That's pretty good. We got Cameron. I know you've seen Cameron and Stefan Marbury uh, going back and forth with the who spanked who in high school basketball. Uh, they're negotiating a one-on-one -on -one right now, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, I know we'd all like to see that. Cameron does keep us uh, up to date. Uh, again, they report this young thug owes more than $2 million in mortgage payments. That's not even... I don't think that's even possible. The bank would have already taken your car, your your house at that $2 million? How much are your payments? 500000 a month and you're behind four months? Come on. That's not even realistic. How do you how do you get like what kind of house did you buy that's more than two million dollars in Georgia? I mean, like two million dollars, you're gonna get a super mansion. Um, and Rosenberg said that Kendrick Lamar is the greatest rapper ever. I don't know about that, but he is good. He's up there. Um, as I reported yesterday, Apple is preparing to buy Disney for more than two hundred billion, which would Put Apple at a net worth of one trillion dollars. Uh, Little Yachty addressed Vice Minsa taking shots at him, but he said, "You know, I just respond, but you know, I don't get too into it. I keep moving with my life. I keep moving forward. That's good." As I reported yesterday again, Jay Prince is said he's he vows that he's going to make Birdman an offer he can't refuse. He's going to get Little Wayne's freedom, so free C five. Um, I hope that Little Wayne can continue on with his career. Um, and get free of that situation. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Let's go to the room. You know, it's going to keep it as a, as a light show, guys, because, you know, there's just not a lot going on, and it is the weekend, and I know a lot of you guys are going to get out there and do your thing tonight, uh, probably go out to a party or something. Make sure you are safe. I appreciate you guys. So let's shout out some people that we got. Righteous One. See you. Dope K. Are you tone mops to music? I see you, homie. King Kalokin. And again, if you're watching this, how do I get in the live chat? You got to come on when we're live. So you got to subscribe and you got to click the bell. And you got to be here between eight and nine. That's when I go live at night. Sometimes I do a midday show. Um, Torres, Jesus. And again, we're going to have Turk on on Monday and we're going to discuss everything. So T Turk and I are. Uh, we're fine, and we're gonna and we're gonna talk about everything publicly and why he said what he said. You know, he, he basically what he said to me today is uh, he was just upset about something, and it it wasn't anything to do with what he accused me of. He just was hurt, and he kind of lashed out. He apologized, and I apologized if he took something a certain way, a news story, and. He felt like we weren't having him on the show that much anymore. And it was just a miscommunication, guys. Uh, he just went public with it a little too early. But we worked it out. We talked like adults. And we worked through it. That's that's what's important, okay? So, you know, I, you know I'm a positive person. I don't like to have problems out here. He doesn't either. Uh, nothing comes from that. And I'm glad I didn't respond before, you know, because... I would have taken it in a direction where it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't have been uh, fixable. So I'm glad it, it, I left it where it could be fixed. Um, BBJ, uh, hell no, I'm not. Am I racist? Yeah, I'm, I've been in hip hop for 15 years, and I'm just an undercover. Come on, come on now. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> um, what's going on, TV Turk? Know you, his boy. Yes, he does. You know, I, we, we, I. We, we always support a Turk over here. 
I'm a, I'm a genuine person, just like he is, you know, he just felt a certain way, you know, some certain people handle certain things differently, but it's all good, man. We're, we're, we'll keep it pushing forward. Turk's going to be on here on Monday. We're going to talk about everything and we're going to keep the positive energy going forward. I told Turk, hey, man, next time just hit me up, bro. And we'll work it out. I mean, it's very easy. He's always welcome on the show, you know. Um, little Rocco was good. Mike Brownman, uh, L. Lee, uh, Tours Jesus, Justin Schubert, Jeff Dreamer, Altimore II, uh, King of King of Out West, Mob Style eighty three, Altimore the Second, People's two one two, Righteous One, Jeff Dremer, uh, She Diaries, People's two one two, Dominique Junior, People's two one two, BBJ, Torres Jesus. Uh, K Bunny LB, Tours Jesus, Just Schubert, Mr. Good. Wow, well, that guy was kind of a hater. Scott McDonald, uh, Brian Pumper's dog. But and make sure you check. I'm chopping up the Brian Pumper interview, so make sure you guys check those out. Um, and AG, uh, looking for the truth. Uh, I know Twenty One Savage is probably in here somewhere. Things changed. Twelve. I saw you last dirt days. Um, Dizzo Dixon, Jesse Lindo. And don't forget, I'm trying something different. I'm keeping the shows between 10 and 15 minutes because Google, uh, the algorithm only likes that because a lot of you, a lot of people leave and come back and the audience retention is down too far when I do that. So I kind of got to play with it for two weeks. So just bear with me for two weeks. We're going to have 15 minute shows, but I will go live longer on the weekends and midday shows, but they won't be you won't be able to rewatch those shows when I go long because I'm not going to. But these ones, you can rewatch them. The night ones that are 15 minutes, you can always come back and rewatch the show. Mike Williams. Uh, oh, and, and check out that Troy Ave and check out that new French Montana with Sway Lee. That Troy Ave, uh, I ain't mad at you. Your remake is pretty dope. Uh, Vanessa Aponte, I see you. Uh, little Rocket DJ Nope, I see you, DJ Nope. Uh, what's good? Salute, man. Um, let's go over to this room real quick. Uh, MWS187, I see you. Um, we got Nola, the Kaluminati. I see you guys. Nobody super chatted today, man. I'm disappointed, but it's okay, man. I appreciate you guys coming. At least, you know, coming in. Um, and guys, hit that like button. If you're watching right now, smash that like button, okay? It's very important you hit that like button because it's you're you're sending a message to YouTube that this video sucks. And that's not cool, guys. You got to hit that thumbs up button. I know it's hard to remember, but I need you guys to always smash that for me. It's very important. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, Kevin Goon, what's good? Fake I run. That majority words. That boy Young. What's good? What's good? Wave Crew TV. Dark Bros Entertainment. Kevin Goon. Jesse Lindo. DJ No. What's going on TV? Make sure you hit that super chat when you can. She Diaries. Everybody. Dizzo. I am divine. I shouted at Chris Canny. I see you. I shouted as many people as I can. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys have a happy Easter. I love all you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. You guys always show love. You're amazing. Um, I'll check you tomorrow. You know I'm going to see you tomorrow. And uh, guys, be safe tonight, okay? Uh, and let's see. Is YouTube improving on AsJT? It's not. The ads are really bad still. So that's why I say, hey, man, please, if you can, super chat. It'll be amazing. But I appreciate you guys tuning in regardless. Um, you guys are awesome. I will check you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter. So I'll do a quick little show for you guys tomorrow. Uh, peace and blessings to everybody.